Hey, it's me again. So I watched another good anime. Problem is that it's a Cloverworks anime. And they have started to develop a bit of a negative reputation when it comes to their adaptations. Shadow's House is a thoroughly enjoyable anime during the first season. But therein lies the problem. I can only be certain about the quality of this first season. We all saw what Cloverworks did to Promise Neverland season 2. And I think this will be more of the same. Hey everyone, welcome to Aniprop, let's get into it. Shadow's House follows the living doll, Emiliko, and her shadow Kate as they come to terms with the political structures and mysteries of the Shadow's House. I don't really need to explain much more about the show than that because the personality of these two characters are so massive that they take up more than half the anime and was the sole reason that I kept watching. Emiliko is a bubbly character widely regarded by the fanbase as a cinnamon roll, but Kate's subdued sophistication drew me in even more. I'm not here to discuss characterization today however. I did that in another video. Today I want to discuss some of the criticism Cloverworks has faced with regards to its production. Cloverworks is heavily criticized for how they have handled anime adaptations. The primary criticism they face is with regards to their propensity to spoil sections of mystery anime, which require thought and therefore engage the viewer. Anime fans believe that Cloverworks revealed these mysteries too early, therefore ruining the fun for the fans figuring out the mystery. A primary example of this is in the opening minutes of Shadow's House. They actually reveal the core mystery and with it a lot of the intrigue of the show. It's as if they assume that only manga readers who already knew the plot would be watching the anime. Either that or they think the audience is stupid. That said, I still personally enjoyed unraveling the mystery, but for me the mystery element of this anime took a back seat. The most enjoyable section of this anime was the Squid Games like debut arc. In this arc, five pairs of shadows and their living dolls are dropped into the war zone map. They are issued standard gear and get to choose one other piece of equipment for their loadout. This arc is a test of wit and ability for each pair. It causes the shadows to reveal their unique suit powers as well as push the living dolls to display their strength and intelligence. For the viewer it even tests the accumulated knowledge of the world's lore as familiar lore elements are recontextualized and put to the test. In my view, the disappointed fans are disappointed because they are viewing the anime in the incorrect context. The manga for Shadow's House may have been a mystery manga, but the anime certainly is not, nor does it try to be. The anime is a supernatural thriller. I think Cloverworks intentionally spoiled some elements of the anime to downplay the mystery and I believe the overall outcome to be favorable. Now that I've defended Cloverworks a bit, let me categorically state that they have ruined this anime, but not for the reasons explored above. This is not an exaggeration. We saw what happened to the Promised Neverland second season. This anime will suffer a similar fate. This is because the final arc of the show following the debut arc is an anime original. Based on what I've seen from manga readers, the way they ended the anime makes it impossible to continue directly from the debut arc in the manga. Therefore the plot for season 2 of the anime will likely be another Cloverworks original masterwork of garbage. Just like what they did with Promised Neverland season 2. I couldn't understand why Cloverworks would do this, so I looked into it. 
It became apparent to me that the studio did not believe they would be doing a second season of this anime. They therefore tried to end season 1 in a way that gave some resolution to the story. Retrospectively, this was a poor decision now that season 2 is confirmed. The mangaka, Saomato, who is involved with the writing for the anime, has committed to correcting the narrative problems the original season 1 ending has introduced. But this is of little solace considering what Cloverworks has put us through in the past. My final verdict on this is just like Promised Neverland, season 1 of Shadow's House as a standalone experience is top tier and among the very best to be found in modern anime. I say that without reservation. I do however hold much reservation with regards to the fate of season 2 of the anime. I will therefore just enjoy this season in isolation and move along with no expectations for more. But those are my thoughts on that. Thanks for watching today. Let me know what you think below. Remember to like and subscribe and see you next time.